Holy smokies, it ain't no jokies. Bitcoin pumped over 15,000. Is this the time that Bitcoin is going to go to the moon or is there a possibility that Bitcoin will pull a little back? We're going to do a little bit of a Bitcoin price prediction. We'll look at all the Bitcoin news. If you're interested in Bitcoin, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. So, Currently, the price of Bitcoin is at 49,752. You can see this uh, above my beautiful bald head, right? <laughs> um, as um, expected, right, we saw Bitcoin sell off this morning. Uh, this was a, a pre-sell-off uh, to the, the stock market opening, right? We saw a little bit of a pre-sell-off when the Bitcoin ETFs uh, started trading pre-market. So the pre-market selling happened. Uh, and then as the stock market started to trade at, at 9.30 a.m., we saw the price start going up. And you can see the volume here at the bottom. Let's zoom in a little bit. The volume started coming up, right? And we saw a very big movement for Bitcoin from the 47, 48,000 area all the way to the next resistance level, which was uh, about 2% away for Bitcoin was at 48,954. That was the level that Bitcoin had hit uh, at the release of the Bitcoin ETF. So that was a, you know, a few weeks ago on January 10th. That was the level. It came in with massive volume here for Bitcoin and was able to cross that resistance level uh, in a matter of 10, 15 minutes. It uh, accumulated enough buying pressure because it got rejected. It went over, you will see on the one minutes, right? A little bit better. It went over here for Bitcoin. Uh, there was a big fight here between the, the bulls and the bears uh, and it was able to separate with a big uh, entry of volume. Uh, and since then, uh, Bitcoin uh, kept going, went to the 50,000 level right uh but got rejected a little bit so it it touched it almost got there uh pulled back second time it was able to break over with uh, about a 10 15 minute area where it was above 50,000 and since then it's been under 50,000 we could potentially see here another try uh for 50,000 so let's put put a 50,000 uh, horizontal line here right uh, and uh, we'll change the color so it's a little bit different because 50,000 is a more of a psychological level, right? So it's for Bitcoin. It's not a level, a technical level that we have seen Bitcoin um, at that level multiple times in the past, uh, you know, two years because Bitcoin hasn't been at this level uh, of 50,000 in a long, long time, right? Uh, in about two years time. So the, since here, so this was the last time that Bitcoin was over this level was January of 2022. So a long time, oh, two years, basically. Uh, and this was the first week that last week that Bitcoin f uh, finished over the 48,000 level uh, and was very bullish. Uh, and so we're seeing now Bitcoin at 49,806. Uh, and it seems like retail is not even here yet. Like I saw, I've been seeing posts, uh, you know, on Twitter and things like that about Bitcoin, but it doesn't seem to be that people are excited. They're like, oh yeah, well, tell me when it new all-time high or tell me when it's at 100,000. It seems that retail is not here yet. It seems most of the buying is uh, crypto bros and, and, and uh, institutions and, and the Bitcoin ETFs that are purchasing, right? Um, if we take a look here, we can see that the Bitcoin ETF inflows have been bigger than Grayscale's outflow for the past 10 rows in a, 10 days in a row. Uh, and when we got to that level where uh, the, that was uh, now February uh, here, right? February, sorry, January 25th was the last time that the outflows were greater than the inflows. Uh, and since then that happened, we've seen Bitcoin up, uh, I think 20%, 24% since then. And if you remember, when Bitcoin hit this low, uh, it's all thanks to um, to uh, Jim Cramer. He said that Bitcoin cannot find its... Uh, its uh, uh, footing. Since then, it's up 25%. You saw people like people, Peter Schiff said, oh, Bitcoin is in a bear market. So I guess Bitcoin is in a bull market now, right? <laughs> uh, so no, the crypto market works a little bit different. Bitcoin is not in a bull market just yet. Uh, what's interesting was the Nasdaq kind of fell off a cliff here uh, about an hour ago and Bitcoin was able to hold for the most part. We're seeing a lot of mimicking between uh, Bitcoin and the Nasdaq lately. And uh, people say, oh, technology, NASDAQ technology, Bitcoin technology. Ethereum is up almost uh, 5% here today. Very interesting uh, that we saw Ethereum uh, gets to the resistance level here 
and a bounce off of that. And now we're seeing it get back to this 2600 uh, range. Uh, and Bitcoin is in a very interesting uh, scenario here, right? Uh, we see uh, that Wall Street are buying 12 and a half more Bitcoin per day than a network can produce, increasing the demand and the price. So the mining process that is happening is going to get harder and harder as we go into Bitcoin having, right? There's going to be less Bitcoin to be mined uh, and the amounts of uh, money that the miners are going to be able to um, produce is going to be cut by 50%. The fact is if the price stays where it is post having, they're going to be in trouble. Right. And there's so big of a demand that the miners can't, uh, you know, give the, the the ecosystem what it needs. Right. Because people, the ETFs are buying so much up here uh, and the exchanges have so much and, you know, individuals have so much and, and many people are holding. Right. <laughs> They're not selling their Bitcoin. Um, so, so we're in a situation like this. Uh, and we see here, for example, Red Capital says Bitcoin. It's now fully confirmed. Time has officially run out. Bitcoin has now completely transitioned into the pre-having rally phase. So not every single time, by the way, uh, there's a pre-rally uh, phase. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of a pullback. Uh, and the question is, did are we in the, the phase here, right, where there's going to be a, another pullback and then the, the rise, right? Or, you know, um, or is there, are we in a situation like... Uh, uh, Capo says here now he said a while back he's he's very bearish on the on Bitcoin and and there's like a fight between him and and the bulls uh, and he says he was bullish by the way a while back and he said that he thought that uh, short term uh, Bitcoin would reach fifty thousand uh, and it got there right so he was right about that and then he expected a rejection from fifty thousand level while alts keep pumping more forming a divergence after that the entire market should reverse uh, to the around the thirty thousand. Uh, level. That's what he's predicting. Now, that's the big question, right? Is that what we're going to see going into having? Listen, I made a video a few days ago, not financial advice, always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest, that I had flat, uh, topped off my Bitcoin position. I invested all that I wanted in Bitcoin. And it doesn't really matter to me if it drops 10, 15, 20% from this point. I am uncomfortable with the amount of money that I put in now because if I think that Bitcoin is going to 5x, 6x, 7x uh, in the next bull run, it doesn't really matter to me if it's at 50,000 and 42,000 or 30,000, right? Um, you know, it, it matters, but, <laughs> but in the long run, it's not going to matter that much. And if I want to take advantage, let's say, of a pullback, I can do that, you know, with a swing trading or day trading. If you're interested, our partners, uh, Bybit, if you live outside of the U.S., uh, you can check that out and you can use leverage, right? But uh, please trade responsibly. You can liquidate it with leverage. <laughs> uh, Bybit gives you up to 10x, so they, so they don't give you that much leverage opportunity. And if you're interested inside the US, our partner Crypto.com gives you that opportunity to start investing in the crypto market. And if you're interested in the stock market, which is at all-time highs as well, you can check out our partner Mumu. Uh, link is in the description down below and you'll get some prizes uh, from all of them. Uh, once you sign up using my link and I'll get a little bit of commission. So thank you for that. So the next step here for Bitcoin is to cross over the 50,000 level and to establish itself uh, with, with a strong amount of, of strength, right? <laughs> a strong amount of strength. <laughs> uh, because there's going to be a lot of fighting here at the 50,000. Why? 50,000 is a psychological level. So people will put their stop, sell, sell uh, take sell, take profits, however you want to call it. At 50,000. Why? Because it's you know a round number. People will put their stop losses at 50,000. People will pull their buy orders at 50,000. Uh, they'll say if it crosses 50,000, I'll buy. So, so some of them were shooken out. Some of them got caught, uh, you know, here, right? But there must have not been a lot of volume, right? Uh, if we zoom in, can we see that a little bit better, right? Prior to it, there was volume. So there was volume. There was volume for for two or three minutes, and then boom, see it fell back down. Now, it could be because of the five-minute chart. You can see the stochastic full. We had a change of trend. Uh, we had a move movement from the bottom of the stochastic full to the top of the stochastic full. Look how beautiful that is. But on the four-hour chart, we are still way up on the stochastic full. And on the daily chart, moreover, right? So that a little bit, you know, scares me. But not really. I'm not afraid of it. You know, it's not like... I'm gonna lose my life over it, but um, it it could create a little bit of a sell-off back to this forty-five thousand level. I would not be surprised again if that happens in the next coming weeks, uh, and I will continue to track it and and see what potentially will come here. If you're interested in more Bitcoin updates, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.